Hello, truth seekers. Welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truths behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a momentous update on the ongoing royal saga that has captivated the world. It appears that the curtain has drawn to a close on the tumultuous relationship between King Charles and the renegade duo, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In a move that can only be described as the ultimate blow, King Charles has delivered a snub so profound, so deliberate, that it seals Harry and Meghan's fate, shutting the door on any lingering hope of a UK return. This, my friends, is the final nail in the coffin of the Sussexes' relationship with the royal family. But before we delve into further details, a heartfelt thank you for your enormous love and support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press the bell icon. Alright, let's get started. The shockwave reverberates from the omission of Harry and Meghan in King Charles's Christmas Day speech. As the world tuned in to hear the traditional festive address, the absence of any mention of the once-beloved prince and his duchess was palpable. It's not just a mere oversight, it's a deliberate act, a statement from the monarchy that Harry and Meghan are no longer part of the royal narrative. The plot thickens as we delve into the BBC's documentary about King Charles's coronation, a momentous occasion that traditionally involves showcasing the entire royal family. To the surprise of many, the documentary omitted Prince Harry. One cannot help but wonder, is this a strategic move to distance the monarchy from the controversial couple, or perhaps a reflection of the strained relationship between them and the rest of the royal family? Despite the absence of Prince Harry from the documentary, the viewing figures tell a tale of their own. Around 3.7 million people tuned in, making it the most-watched program on TV in the UK on that day. The irony is hard to miss. The public, ever hungry for insights into the royal family, still craves a glimpse into the inner workings of the monarchy, even without the presence of the once-starling prince and his American bride. As we dissect this latest development, it's crucial to reflect on the tumultuous journey of Harry and Meghan in 2023. The year saw the release of two controversial books about the couple, further muddying the waters of their relationship with the royal family. The narrative, it seems, has taken a turn for the worse, with King Charles delivering what can only be interpreted as a decisive snub, an acknowledgement that the Sussexes are no longer integral to the royal narrative. Speculation runs rife about what the future holds for Harry and Meghan in 2024. The events of 2023 have left a trail of controversy, and this latest snub indicates that the road back to royal favor may be permanently closed. The question lingers, is this the end of the road for the rebellious couple, or will they find a way to redefine their relationship with the monarchy from afar? In conclusion, the omission of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from King Charles's Christmas Day speech and the documentary about his coronation marks a significant chapter in the ongoing royal drama. It's a deliberate act and a final blow that echoes the sentiment that the monarchy is moving forward without the Sussexes at the forefront. As we bid adieu to this chapter, we await the next twists and turns in the saga of Harry and Meghan, eager to witness how their story unfolds in the ever-watchful eyes of the public. What are your thoughts on this news? Please share your opinions in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.